Hey, Survival Craft here. I just got back from the Army store here in Edinburgh, and I picked up a few items that I thought I might just go ahead and show you. Uh, they were really cheap, and they're going to make great additions to either my day bag or my uh, bug out bag. So, the first is, it's not this full thing, I've actually got it wrapped around my Hazard 4 Messenger of Doom bag, which I carry as like my, my one day bag, my overnight bag when I go out just day hiking. And uh, what it is, is it's a multi-cam waterproof uh, Bergen cover. So it's supposed to be for a backpack, but I just have it on this. And what's nice about it is it's super light, maybe two, three ounces at the most. And so I can just keep it in this bag, and if anything happens, it starts raining heavy or whatever, and I want to keep this bag a bit drier, I just throw it in here and uh, not worry about it. So I picked that up for $7.50, so not bad. Uh, then I got this also for $7.50. It's an 8x6 ground tarp. It could be used for overhead coverage, but it has no grommets or retention straps. It's just completely flat. Still, it could be used for overhead cover, but what I plan on doing is putting this in my 72-hour bag and using this as ground cover, but also it would be around in case I need it for signaling because it is bright orange and it's large. So I think this is a great little addition. It is uh, plastic, though it's a thick plastic, closer to like, I would say probably three to four times thicker than the average contractor's bag, maybe even thicker. It's, it's pretty heavy duty, heavy grade. Uh, won't last forever, but really it's, it's just for a bit of ground cover and for signaling. Then I also got these two. Uh, well, first, this waterproof pat, uh, not patch, pouch. And uh, out of the box, it looks like this. It's just a small pouch. Feels like it's uh, pretty much the same thing as a Camelback Reservoir. And what it's for is just for dropping material in and then cinching it up like a dry bag to keep it uh, waterproof. The thing is, is I've seen people give great reviews of this on Amazon and things like that, and then I've had, I've seen people give awful reviews, but I haven't seen anyone actually test it out on camera. So what I'll do is I'll put it through a few tests and see if these things actually are waterproof. If they are, they would be good for carrying things like uh, gauze and bandages, medicines that can't get wet, things like that for my medical kit, and that's where I plan on keeping this. Also for electronic goods like cameras, small solar chargers, things like that. But, uh, you know, pay attention. I should have a, a review of this up in the next few days to a week. And then finally, I got this. This is an emergency bandage, a trauma wound dressing but it's more commonly known as an Israeli bandage. And this is the six inch version. Usually these run around here in the UK around 10 pounds. Um, so like $15 US. I picked this up for $3 US. So it has an expiration date of 2016. So it's still, it still has a good two years left in it, uh, three, if you know, whatever, but uh, it's sealed in Mylar, vacuum sealed, and uh, it's a great addition to your medical kit because what it is is it's for heavy wounds with a lot of bleeding. It wraps around them, and you can you can put tension on it, but not not the strong type of tension you would get in a tourniquet. It just keeps pressure on it, it keeps bleeding down, and uh, definitely a good part to any outdoor survival medical kit. So uh, that's what I got at the Army store today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will definitely have a review of this up. The other things um, probably won't be reviewed 
anytime soon, although uh, you may eventually see them in some you know, future videos. But thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a great day.